Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Ocean County School Counselors Association Virtual College Fair. I'd like to thank you all for joining us here today. Just a few housekeeping items before we do get started. There's a Q&A button feature located at the bottom of your screen, which you can use to type in questions to our presenters at any time during the session. If you do have questions for a specific college, be sure to mention the college within your question. Your camera and microphone are turned off so the panelists cannot see or hear you. And this presentation is also being recorded. So within about a week, you'll be able to find this session's recording at the same site where you registered. Now, without further ado, I'm gonna turn it over to our first institution, which is Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University. Thank you. Okay, I'm just gonna share my screen. Um, okay. Okay. Hi, everybody. Um, my name is Dana Carlin, and I'm the regional admissions counselor for Embry Riddle Aeronautical University. I represent the Daytona Beach campus. I actually live in central New Jersey, born and raised here. So um, I am actually living in Monmouth County. So we are neighbors to Ocean. So um, not very nice weather that we had here today, unfortunately. So um, as I said, I'm representing the Daytona Beach campus, but I'm going to tell you about both our residential campuses. One is in Daytona Beach and one is in Prescott, Arizona. So what are we known for? We are known for our flight program mostly and our aerospace engineering. We have been number one in aerospace engineering for the past 20 years by US News and World Report. We are the first and only College of Security and Intelligence that is located on our Prescott, Arizona campus. Um, we also have an aerospace physiology program that is on Daytona Beach campus, and that is actually a pre-med program. We are ABET accredited institution, so that's really important for you guys to keep in mind. If you're looking for that engineering ABET accredited, it's really, really important. So our graduates do yield among the highest return on investment in the nation. Also really important when you graduate, you are making your money back. So you definitely want to keep that in mind. So we are top ranked in Arizona and Florida for the highest level of quality and affordability. So differences in our campus, Daytona Beach has about 7,000 students versus Prescott about 3,000. Average class size about 25, 27. You're never going to walk into a room with 100 students taught by a TA. All of our classes are taught by a professor that is a specialist in the field that they are teaching. We have about 350 plus clubs and organizations between both campuses, everything and anything you could think of. Actually, my favorite is on Daytona Beach campus, which is our skydiving club because we have access to so many planes, the kids feel the need to jump from them. So that's pretty funny. Um, we are adjacent to the Daytona Beach Airport, so if you're interested in flight, you can actually roll out of bed and get right onto your plane. Daytona Beach is 5-10 minutes from the beach, 10 minutes from the speedway, and about 45 minutes from the Orlando parks, and we do give discounted park tickets. Prescott, um, not your typical like desert feel. It has that um, outdoorsy, if you're interested in rock climbing and biking, hiking, that kind of feel. So it's great. We are a D2 sport um, campus on both, both of our um, campuses, NCAA on Daytona and NAIA in Arizona. So 94% of our students do graduate and either move on to further education or they're getting a job in the field that they're studying. So we have about 140,000 of our alumni that do come back for our fall and spring um, career expos and they're really involved with our students and our career services, everything from resume building to um, building internship programs and getting you involved. It's really, really important for us that we know that you're, we're securing internships and jobs when you graduate. So application process. Our application does open the summer before your senior year. We are rolling admission. So that's something to keep in mind. We are test optional. We've been test optional for about five years. We're, um, we only require an official transcript. We are not on the Common App. We are directly on our website. So um, the faster you apply, the faster you hear from us, basically. Merit, over 90% of our students are receiving some type of aid, whether it be um, government aid from the FAFSA that does open up October 1st. 
or you automatically do qualify for merit aid if you have a 3.0 or above. Um, external scholarships, we do take everything and anything that you could possibly find. So we are open to that. And ROTC, we do have all four branches on our Daytona campus and our Prescott, Arizona does have Air Force and Army and they also have extensive competitive scholarships that you can look for on their websites. So um, I know I'm speaking really, really quickly, but in the upper right are some of our email addresses that um, you can certainly get in touch with us, reach out to us, but also in the chat, I will put my direct email. So that's the best way to get in touch with me. Um, if you have any questions or need anything, um, just you know, definitely reach out to me. And as I said, our application does open up in August before your senior year. So we do have other majors that I would love to talk to you about. I just don't have the time. I have great videos that I can show you at the campus. So I can certainly you know, schedule a one-on-one -on -one Zoom with you where I, can, I would be happy to share those videos with you and more information. My normal um, high school virtual visit is about 30 minutes. So this is certainly an abbreviated version. So thank you guys for coming. Thanks for joining me. And I look forward to hopefully, you know, sharing more information with you. And again, I'm going to share my email in the chat with you. So I'm going to pass it back to um, Carissa and she will pass it over to our next person. Wonderful. Thank you so much for that presentation. According to our agenda, Endicott College is supposed to be next, but unfortunately it looks like they were unable to join us, so we will move on with our program to Florida Southern College. Hi everyone, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, let me just share my screen here and I will get started. All right, so we are a close-knit community. We have, now I know it says 3,500, but it's actually 3,000 students, forgive my Forgive the mistake. Anyhow, um, we have about 2,500 undergraduate level students on our campus. We were founded in 1883, which does make us the oldest private college in the state of Florida. We are a liberal arts core, and so we have over 70 programs of study for, to, for you to choose from. We have our business school, which is AACSB accredited. Uh, we've got our direct entry nursing program. We have a school of physical therapy, our school of education, science, arts. Um, there is something for everyone. We have about 16 pre-professional tracks, so anything from pre-med, pre-law, to name a couple there. Um, and in-house, we do have some four plus one options. In other words, you'll earn your bachelor's and your master's in five short years, and you have the option to do that in business, accounting, uh, or education. So we have small class sizes, 18, 20 students in a classroom to one professor, and you'll always be taught by a professor. You will not be taught by a grad student or a TA. Um, a lot of engaged learning goes on, a lot of experimental learning, so you're not just sitting and listening to a lecture day in and day out. Um, you are learning through experience. Uh, we do have an honors college as well. Um, so those of you who want that extra challenge, there are also some perks that go along with that um, being in our honors school, uh, early registration, early class registration, and housing registration, and things like that. So we have a few guarantees I want to tell you guys about. Uh, we guarantee travel abroad, we guarantee an internship, and we guarantee that you will graduate in four years. Right now, the nation's average is about five and a half to six years. That's how long it is taking students to earn a four-year degree. So we guarantee this uh, via the resources we give you. Um, we assign an academic, uh, an academic advisor who is a professor uh, for you. So you will meet them at orientation. They will make sure that you're on the right track each time you go to um, register for classes and you know we have an open door policy so you can always reach out to your academic advisor just walk right in their office and chat with them um, when you need to. Uh, we guarantee the internship 97 96 percent of employers are looking for experience in their new hires so this is something we certainly can guarantee you across all majors and then studying abroad uh, a lot of our students take um, advantage of this it's called the junior journey it's a seven to ten day trip 
um, that you take like your junior year, your senior year, and you take it during your fall break or your spring break. Um, and the cost of these trips are actually embedded in your tuition. So it is a, a no brainer on that. So um, as far as life outside of the classroom. We have a lot of clubs and organizations, over 100 to be exact. We've got student government, um, you know, special interest clubs, multicultural clubs, very diverse in nature. Um, and if your buddies and you can't find something that you want to be part of, you can approach student government, create your own club. Um, we've got, uh, we guarantee housing um, all four years. 94% of our students do live on campus. The only way you're allowed to commute is if you live within a 30 mile radius um, of our campus with a parent or a guardian. Always something to do. We are not a suitcase campus. It does not just clear out on the weekends. There is um, always people around. There's always events going on. We have a Sunshine Series tour where uh, you can travel each weekend like day trips to, you know, the theme parks, um, just to get out into the Florida sunshine. So uh, there's always something to do, that is for sure. Uh, we've got about 20 varsity sports, um, basketball, baseball, lacrosse, we're division two. We've got some neat club sports as well. Uh, water ski, equestrian, esports, um, cheerleading, ice hockey, uh, and we have a very strong intramural program as well. Again, something for everyone. In order to apply, uh, we will need your official high school transcripts. We will need a, an essay. We do not need test scores. We are test optional. Uh, we do not charge an application fee and we do take the coalition app, um, the common app, and of course, our own Florida Southern College app. The numbers on the bottom of the screen are not minimum requirements to gain acceptance. These are numbers, or this is a, an average class profile. Uh, as far as scholarships go, we do have merit scholarships. They go anywhere from 7,000 a year to 21,000 a year. No application needed. It's decided during your application process. And we also have prestige scholarships. These scholarships do require separate application. And if you uh, meet the criteria, we will let you know um, and have you apply for those. We've got special uh, scholarships as well for um, students with athletic abilities, theatrical abilities and, um, and, and you know, all, all sorts of things, artistic, musical, all of that. And really that's it, that's the end of my show. Um, this is my information. I will put the information in the chat for you and that way you can keep that, hang on to it. If you ever need anything or have any questions about your college search or about Florida Southern College, reach out. Thank you very much for that presentation. As a reminder to our participants, if you do have questions, definitely don't hesitate to put that into the Q&A below. Up next, we have Harcum College. Hi everyone, my name is Tyler. I am the admissions counselor for Harcum College. I'm gonna just go ahead and share my screen and get you guys um, a little more comfortable with Harcum College and what we're about and what we have to offer you as a student. So for those of you that don't know about us, we are a small um, private nonprofit school located in Bryn Mawr, Pennsylvania. So we're about 30 to 35 minutes from Center City, Philadelphia. Um, since we are a private nonprofit school, um, we um, are a smaller college, which our students really appreciate. We are an associate degree granting institution. So associate degrees are the highest we confer. We did become co-ed in 2003, and before that, we were an all-girls school. One of the unique things about Harcum being an associate degree granting school compared to other schools that you might be thinking of, like community colleges, um, we have residence halls on campus. So if you know there's a specific degree that you are looking for and all you need is that associates, you don't want to miss out on that college experience, Harcum is a great fit for you because we can offer you that. We are D1 and D2 in athletics. We are the NJCAA, but since we are D1 and D2, we do offer athletic scholarships as well. And then here at Harcum, we have over 20 different associate degree majors and certificate offerings that you can then um, partake in either during your time at Harcum or after your time at Harcum to continue your education. 
Here at Harcum, we're most known for our allied health science programs, and especially because of the high pass rates we have that go along with these programs. So overall, we have an average of a 96% of a pass rate for all of our allied health science programs. Um, to be a little more specific, our nursing program has a 100% pass rate on the NCLEX. Um, so really great opportunities. Our students are not only coming out with a degree, they're coming on ready to take their boards and pass and start working in the field. We also are affiliated with some um, four-year institutions so that you can do your two years at Harcum and then transfer to a bachelor degree granting school and only have to do in another two years. Um, however, we are regionally accredited. So if we aren't affiliated with a specific school, you can still transfer your credits as long as it aligns with your coursework. Now, most of our degrees are made to be career focused. So once you graduate with your associate's degree, you are ready to enter the workforce. But no matter what your next step is after Harcum, whether it's transferring to a four-year school or whether it's going into the career course, we have a really great career and transfer services they're going to be able to help you, you know, whatever that next step is. So we do, you know, resume building, interview prepping, job postings. We even have a, um, a career closet. So if you're ever not really sure about what to even wear um, to an interview, we have all that stuff ready for you. And it's a really great service that our students take advantage of. Um, we are affiliated with some high schools so you can get credits um, transferring in right off the bat. Um, so some vet programs, some vet assisting programs we're affiliated with, so you can get credits already from what you've done in high school. Being a small college, we really pride ourselves on the individual support we're able to offer our students. Your class size is 16 students to one professor. You're never going to not know who your professor are, and they're going to always know your name. And our students really do appreciate that. Um, it's, you're not a, you know, a small fish in a big pond here at Harcum, and we generally really care about our students' success. We also pride ourselves on the financial aid opportunities we're able to offer our students. Every single student gets an individualized financial aid package where we're able to offer scholarships and grants based off their FAFSA data and merit. So here you can see is a list of all the majors we have. Like you can see, really heavy in the allied health sciences, but we also have a, hard, a large number of our in design majors as well. If there are any specific questions about a specific major, definitely feel free to put those in the, uh, the Q&A as well. Um, so here at Harcum, since we are so small, we really pride ourselves on the services we're able to offer our students. The services being we have academic coaching. So whether you need motivational or emotional support, just some study skills, or maybe you're the main financial um, support system of your education, we're able to offer assistance and all those things so you don't feel like you're lost um, and not really sure what to do. Our Office of Disability Services is also very hands-on. We work really closely with any student that has a documented disability or an IEP. We also have a learning specialist on campus. Whether you have test anxiety or just are really, you know, maybe you don't have a documented disability, but test taking isn't your strength. We have a learning specialist who can help you with all of those things. We also have your traditional tutoring center, whether you need to be tutored on a, um, a specific course. We have accelerated student tutors, but then we also have professional tutors who are working in the field. And then we also have counseling services. So whether you just need to talk to somebody or you have something going on or just the way of you know, being in college is a lot for you, we will always have someone for you to talk to. Here's a quick picture of what our residence halls look like. Our dorms are suite style dorms. So what that means, it is two people to a room and four people to a bathroom maximum. There is no communal bathroom at the end of the hall and our students love that. Um, it's a much more private setting. And then our meal plan is also included in our price to pay on campus. And then really quick, I just want to mention our application process. Um, our application is free to apply online and as of now we are test optional and coming right from high school the only other thing we would need from you is your official high school transcript um, and if you needed anything else we could definitely let you know as we went along and that's going to be it from me if um i know that was quick i know i probably went over my time too because i talk fast and i talk a lot but if you have any specific questions feel free to put them in the chat 
you very much for giving us that presentation. Up next, we have Jacksonville University. Awesome. I'm going to share my screen with everybody. All right. Um, so for those of you that do not know me, this is one of my favorite college fairs every year. Um, in the fall and the spring, Jacksonville University attends it. Um, if you have not been here yet, uh, this is a photo of our campus. You can see we are right on the St. John's River, directly across from Jacksonville, the city of Jacksonville, about 25 minutes from um, the airport and about 25 minutes to the beaches, which is super nice for our students. Um, we do, we are a smaller private school. Uh, we do have about 2,800 undergraduate students, 1,400 graduate students. Um, and we'll get more into that here, but just a little bit about the city of Jacksonville. We are the largest city by area in the U.S., which is a, a fun fact about us. We are home to seven professional sports teams. Some of you guys may know the Jacksonville Jaguars. We were definitely not good this year, but still fun and a lot of activities for our students to engage in with them. The Jumbo Shrimp, which is our minor league baseball team. And then one of my other favorites is the Iceman hockey team. Um, Jacksonville as a whole is very general. Uh, it's located in a great area of kind of the continental US. We can really get to Charleston in three hours, Tampa in four hours, um, Savannah in two hours. So we are very regionally located to access, allow our students to be accessible to a lot of different cities. Um, as I did mention, we are close to the beach, which a lot of our students do uh, enjoy, but we do have about 22 miles of Jacksonville Beach. As I mentioned before, um, we do have undergraduate programs. We have graduate programs, about 2,800 undergraduate program or undergraduate students. We do require freshmen, sophomores, and juniors to live on campus. And then seniors, they're more than welcome to live on campus if they choose. Sometimes they head over to our historical district and sometimes they head over to the beaches. Our campus is very diverse. Um, we do represent a lot of different countries, a lot of different states. We are in-state, out-of-state, almost split right down the middle. So we do welcome a lot of students from New Jersey. It is one of our top three states that we actually recruit from and, and remain to, to have a lot of students from as well. Um, as everybody did mention, we do have a lot of, a lot of majors, a lot of minors. We have a, a more pre-professional programs that we're working on kind of giving more resources to allowing our students to engage in pre-vet, pre-health, pre-med, um, pre-law. We're really starting to focus on making sure that our students really can go into medical school right after they graduate or go into to law school right after they graduate. And we also do offer floor certificates. Just like any other university, um, we do have a lot of different opportunities, whether that be healthcare sciences, marine science, aviation, biology, um, we are a liberal arts base, but we do kind of branch off there. So we do have a lot of fine arts. We have humanities. Um, you can see here our student to professor ratio is 11 to 1, and we cap all of our classes, regardless of your age um, and regardless of your class, to at 25 students. So you'll never be in a class size larger than that. Um, and due to COVID, we have kind of adjusted. We are a hybrid model, so you will be in the classroom half the time and you will be kind of tuning in. We hope that that will adjust back to more in-person um, in the fall as well. Just like all the other universities that are with us today, lots of different student organizations we offer. We, some of our more popular ones are Dolphin Productions. They kind of coordinate all the on-campus festivals and events and, and big time names that come through and do big concerts, as you can see kind of in that background photo there. We do have Greek Life, um, a lot of fine arts productions, and then we also have intramural and club sports teams, which is really popular, student government. Um, and we do have 11% of our population is international. So we do have a, a phenomenal international student association. Um, students that are not international are welcome to join that. Um, but it is something that all of our students kind of do value for sure. Here at JU, we are D1 with our athletics. So even though we are that sm smaller school, we do offer uh, the D1 athletics with lacrosse, uh, basketball, soccer, you name it, we have it, rowing. Um, and then we also do have uh, two varsity team sports and that would be sailing and shooting. Those sports teams um, do not require tryouts uh, and it's all kind of what you put into it, but it is a fully funded program, travel, competition, food, everything's included kind of in that. So it feels just like you're on a D1 athletic team as well. 
how to become a fin. I know that we have a lot of students that do apply from the New Jersey area. So we can kind of walk through this application process. I did see a few people on here have already applied. Um, and so we are rolling admissions. That means we do not have any deadlines. Um, we don't require students to apply by a certain time or decide by a certain time to make sure that that's the right fit for you academically, but also financially. You can see here our profile, we do have, um, it's our average, it has gone up from our last freshman class is about 366 now. We are also and will remain test optional. So we have been test optional, we don't require them, and all students are reviewed for the same scholarship regardless if we have a test score or not, which is great. Um, we do have the Common App, we accept that, and then we also have our JU Native app, which is available online. Tuition, very transparent about our tuition. Um, it is, it has increased just slightly. So we are looking at about a $58,000 total cost of attendance here at JU. Our admissions team is more than welcome to communicate that with you, talk through your financial aid package and kind of work with that through there. We do offer a lot of academic merit scholarships. You can see the ranges there. And then there's some additional um, scholarships that we offer as well. FAFSA, definitely submit it. That would be my biggest thing. Um, and then as soon as we receive it to the university, we will be sure to package you financially for additional institutional aid or anything that kind of pops in with the federal government side. And lastly, prior to graduation, we do require students to complete one of these requirements, either a study abroad, a work study with a professor, or an internship. So lots of opportunity for our students, and a lot of them do already engage in more than one of them, just based on kind of their career path and their academic path. Um, and then our last slide, this is kind of our median starting salary. Again, this does include all of our healthcare sciences, so our nursing, school, our nursing folks as well. Um, so it is a little bit higher than what we would expect, but these are where some of our students have opportunities. Again, my name is Julia, and I'm here to answer any questions that you may have. Thank you so much for your presentation. As a final reminder for our participants, if you do have questions, definitely don't hesitate to drop those into the Q&A down below. Up next, we have King's College. Okay. Um, all right, hello everyone. My name is Sarah Daniel. I am the admission. So just a little bit overview about King's. We have 2,400 undergraduate students with a 16 to one student to faculty ratio. We are a private Catholic institution. That does not mean that you have to be Catholic to come here. Uh, it just means that we are part of the Congregation of the Holy Cross, which gives us a lot of great opportunities to work with other universities. Um, we value our small community of our 2,400 students and the face-to-face -face time that you are able to have with your professors due to that. And we also value service. Our campus as a whole completes 180,000 hours of service a year, uh, which we are super proud of through our organizations. We are a liberal arts college and we take pride in that as well, giving a very well-rounded education. We have over 50 clubs and organizations on campus, over 41 majors and 28 NCAA teams, including eSports, which is our newest. Um, as I said, we take pride in our volunteer service, but we also have study abroad opportunities that can be semester long or intercession, which is about three weeks. Uh, we have a library that's open 24 seven on our campus and residence halls, seven residence halls. We guarantee housing all four years on campus. Um, we also guarantee a finish in four, uh, so you'll be able to finish your undergraduate in four years. We have on student publications, including our radio station, WRKC, and our newspaper, The Crown. You don't have to have any experience to be able to go into those. Um, they're there to teach you about them. And we also have tons of on and off campus activities for the weekends, um, partnerships with companies around us where we're able to do ski trips and movie trips and, and trips in two cities. Like I said, we are... College of Liberal Arts. So these are some of the areas that you will be able to study throughout your four years. One of our biggest programs is the College of Sciences. These are some of our most popular majors in the sciences, as long with our pre-advisement um, tracks. Those will pair you up with an advisor to ensure that you're staying on the track for your intended career goal. 
our some of our most popular uh, programs are our health science programs, athletic training, which is a three plus two program for a master's in athletic training, exercise science, nursing, which is a one to one, and our accelerated PA program, which is a five year program. We we'll have our school of business, which is AACSB accredited. So. Maybe you haven't heard of Kings before in the past, but you're interested in business. You go to somebody with this accreditation, they're going to know exactly the type of school that you went to for business. We have accounting management and um, marketing. With management, we, we have all of those subsets. Uh, we also have engineering programs in-house at King's Civil and Mechanical. We also have a three plus two program with University of Notre Dame and Washington University at St. Louis. Um, this uh, three plus two program and our PA program are the only two that we require SAT or an ACT score for, otherwise we are test optional. Um, and with those three plus two programs, these are the specialties that you are able to take at each university. We also created undeclared as a major at King's. Uh, we found that a lot of our students were coming in and really wasn't sure what they wanted to do, which at 18 years old is completely understandable. Um, so we created a whole major around it so that you could be paired up with someone to help you make that um, decision. So you're not solely dependent on choosing your future because really that could change so many times. Um, so we just wanted to make that sort of as easy as possible for you to get to that point. Like I said, we have over 20, we have 28 um, athletic teams on campus, including eSports. These are the ones that we do have to offer. We are a division three school. So you can apply to Kings through the Common App or through our Kings app. Um, we take a holistic approach to our applications. We're looking at your essay and your grades and your SATs, of course, but we wanna get to know you as a person, um, especially considering the programs that you might be going into. We like to look at the strength of your senior schedule, clubs that you've been participating in, everything that you put into your application is always considered. All of our students receive a merit-based scholarship ranging from 14,000 to 22,000 um, on top of the, what you would get through your FAFSA, your King's Grant Aid, things like that. And that is the big overview about Kings. Um, in the chat, I will put our inquiry form. I would love if you guys could fill it out. It could allow us to tailor some more things to you, help you learn specifically about Kings. I'll also put my own information. Thank you so much everyone for giving us more information about your respective institutions. I'm now gonna invite all my panelists to come back and answer a question for you guys to give you a little bit more insight to some of their favorite things that they offer. So the question we will be answering is what is your favorite event or tradition on your campus? And we'll start with Embry-Riddle. So I think my favorite event is um, when the rockets launch from Cape Canaveral. We can see them from our campus and from the beach in Daytona. So the kids either flock to the beach to watch the rockets launch, or we actually have the largest telescope, the largest university research telescope in all of Florida. So they head up to our student union and they watch the rockets launch from there. So it's pretty cool. From college? Every row. Okay, sorry about that. Um, so here at Harkham, um, I would say our my favorite tradition is our um, homecoming weekend. We are a small school, so really everybody knows everybody. And so our homecoming weekend is small, but it is just so fun with so many fun events. This year it was virtual, but even the virtual attendance of the events was such a turnout because everybody wanted to see each other. Everybody wanted to see the past alumni. Everybody wanted to hear from the president. We always do a dinner with the president where really anybody can go as long as you RSVP. And we still did it this year. We just did it through Zoom. So everybody got to eat a dinner with the president in his house through Zoom. Um, so it's just such a family feel at Harkham and you really feel it during that weekend. And that's what I would say was what my favorite event is. Jacksonville University. I have two. My first one is our move-in weekend, uh, definitely for our first time freshmen, which is just a blast. It, it really allows students to engage on campus without any other students around, and they really get time to, to meet and greet with people, walk around campus, show their families around. Um, and it's really fun because we get to unload all their stuff so the parents are fully engaged and, and loving life when they don't have to pick up a single box or a pillow. 
Um, and then my second one is really our pancake breakfast. This is um, something that I didn't really understand when I first started working there about eight years ago, but it is during our, we do it in the fall and the spring. It is during our exam week. It's the first full day of exams. And at um, 10 PM, our cafeteria opens. The president is there, our CFO is there, our student affairs senior vice president is there serving pancakes, fresh bacon, and, and breakfast for the students that are trying to stay up and study and make sure that they're geared up for the week. Um, very fun to volunteer that night. They do a few extra activities and it's just a great event. In King's College. My favorite would be our homecoming weekend. Um, our school really values the atmosphere that we create around sports, um, but we also have a lot of fun activities for those aren't athletes we shut down an entire street in Wilkes-Barre and we put up last time well I guess it wasn't last year but two years ago we um, did a carnival theme so we put up an entire carnival throughout the street and they got to enjoy it for the whole weekend um, so they always look forward to that and then our graduating seniors get a Wonderful. Well, thank you everyone for joining us today. When you close this window, there will be a link to a very quick four question survey and we would appreciate any feedback you can give us. And in about a week, you'll be able to find the sessions recording at the same site where you registered. Again, thank you for joining us and have a good evening.